Today we are going to create this trending rotating effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it with any object you want. So let's begin. So I know after I fix and in order to create this effect, we are going to use this video file. Now this effect is very popular with car edit. So you can just shoot a video about any object you want. It does not have to be a car. It can be any object, but I'm going to use this video file. So once you're done with this, just import it in after effects. And after that, let's drag it into the composition. So the first thing is we are going to rotate out our car. So let's select this layer, press control D to duplicate this and let's select the rotor brush tool. And after that, double click on this video. Now in the roto tab, just go to a frame from where we want the effect to happen. So I'm going to start from here. And after that, we can rotate out our object. Just simply click and drag and it will create this green line. Now it will enable all of these areas that are present within this purple lines. So we are going to basically draw the outline of this car. So let me just quickly do that. You can zoom in and just click to include all the areas that you want. Now, in case you don't want to include some area, then you can hold on the alt key and you can see that now it will change the brush. And if I click, you can see that it will remove that area, but we want this to be included as well. So I'm going to just include everything and you don't have to be very precise because after effects will take care of everything. All right. So now I have included all the parts that I want in my car. And after that, let's go to the Roto brush and change the settings to best. And we want it to move forward. So we can just simply click a little bit ahead and you can see that it will start rotating our object. And now you can see if I move across this, you can see that the Roto brush is staying upon our car. And let's move a little bit ahead just to check whether it, it is doing its job. So here you can see now our Roto is like doing it perfectly once you're happy with this we can freeze this out and but we don't want it to freeze the starting portion so we can probably trim this off let's keep it to this point and after that we can click on this freeze frame let's click and now it will take some time to freeze all of these frames and i will come back once it is done before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue all right so now the roto is done and you can see that it did a quite good job on this one but sometimes what you will see that it will start including some unnecessary area or it will not include the areas that you want in that case you can just simply click on this unfreeze button and after that just paint that area again and freeze it again so once you're done with this we can go back to our composition and let's just disable this layer just to see our roto we can probably get rid of it and you can see it did a quite good job we only rotated this last area so we have it over here and let's change the feather i'm going to set this to 10 just to keep the edges smooth let's enable this again now we are ready to animate this out so first let's select this and i'm going to press u so this is our starting point and i'm going to trim this layer now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to select the move anchor tool and let's click and i'm going to move this anchor point to a region or a point from where we want this object to rotate so i want this to rotate around this area so let's move the anchor point over here now if i select this press r you can see that it will start rotating like this so we can add a keyframe for rotation and let's move a couple of frames like here we can set the keyframe to let's say five or seven we don't want to do it like extremely high i'm going to probably set this to five and let's move a couple of frames ahead let's add one more keyframe for five and let's go to this point and i'm going to set this to zero now we can select all the keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph and quickly change it to look like this and if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph once done let's quickly play this out our car will start moving up and then it will stay and then it will come down so we can play around with the timing later on as well for now let's add more cars so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's duplicate it a bunch of different times like that let's select everything press r and we are going to change their value so this is at 5 i'm going to make this at 10 and let's just increase them by five values so this will be 20 20 25 and this one will be 30 
So here you can see we have a bunch of different options. Now, if you increase this value, then you can set this to 10, 20, however you want. And then it will increase the number of distance between these values. But for this one, I'm going to set this to five only. Perfect. Now we have to change this value as well. So all we have to do is we can copy and paste. So we're basically changing both the keyframes. Perfect. So now if I press play, you can see we have our effect and then it goes back. Now, in case you want to play around with the timing, then you can select the keyframes and move them closer to make it faster. And I think we can make this close as well. This will make the animation faster and this one as well. And I think this keyframe has changed. So let's go back and just change it to this. Perfect. So we are done with our effect. Now, at last we can have some speed ramp effect in the beginning. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. But before that, there are a couple of things that you can do to really enhance this effect. So for example, I can apply the fill effect onto alternate layers. So let's add a fill effect onto this one. Let's copy it and we can add fill effect onto the alternate layer. So now you can see we have this very nice red color like that. So these are some variations that you can try out or otherwise you can apply a colorama effect. Let's drag it over here. And this will create this very bright variation of the same effect like that. So once you're done with this, we can probably select all of these layers, right click, pre-compose and let's call this video. Just click on OK. Now we have this and in order to speed ramp it, right click, enable time remapping. Now let's go to a point where our effect starts. So somewhere around here it starts so we can add a keyframe for our this point now let's select all of these keyframes at the back and we can move them in the beginning so that this gap is less and it will make this video faster we can select this press f9 to easy this and i am going to change the graph to look like that so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice speed ramp effect in the beginning and after that we have this effect at the end so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that you can use it with any object you want it does not have to be a car like i said so this is how you can create this. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. Make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.